describe your week last week? Because it seemed like it was a bit of a whirlwind for you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a obviously an awesome week. Um, close to love of my life, and then got the call up on uh, Thursday morning. Uh, you found out Thursday night that I was going to play, so I went, went in the camp on Friday. Friday night, um, played Saturday, so and we got the win, so that was top it off a, a really good week. So that was completely out of the blue, was it? The game was completely out of the blue. I had the um, a holiday already planned in advance, so uh, lucky enough that match allowed me to break camp for, for the week, and then I was hoping just to come in for the game on Saturday just to cheer on the boys, but um, you know, it was extra special when he, when he asked me uh, if I wanted to play, so uh, you know, every opportunity that I get to put on this black jersey uh, means so much to not only myself, but my, my family and also my country. How difficult was it just learning the plays and that sort of stuff in such a short space of time? I didn't really, um, so I didn't train at all um, last week, which probably, I, hope, I was hoping they'd do the same thing for me this week, to be honest. Hoping they'd give me, the, give me a week off and just play on Saturday, but no. Um, but no, look, I've been in this environment before, uh, so you know we didn't change the plays too much. I've played with a lot of these players um, when we played uh, in, the, in this black jersey, so um, you know, it wasn't like anything was new to me, so I was just uh, get out there and do my role for the team. It's early week, but what's it like this week? You've got to compete for a spot this week. Yeah, um, first training session today, we had a, a little bit of conditioning to, to blow out the cobwebs, so uh, that, that's always nice. Um, but look, it was a, a good turn up back in my home, hometown in Christchurch. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Um, hope you see some familiar faces in the crowd, so uh, it's good to be home. How many tickets have we get up there? A few already. Um, but we'll see how much we get. I think we only got uh, five last week, so uh, I had to get on my manager there, but give me a little bit more. So you know, that's what happens when you're a nice boy. And, um, you know, it's the, um, the most pleasing thing about it was you know they, they scored that that one try. Um, I thought our defence was incredible, uh, especially in our effort areas, um, just turning up for one uh, one another. So uh, we definitely need to need to do that this week. Um, saying that, you know, uh, there's always a lot of improvement uh, in our game and. Uh, that's one thing we want to do this week, and uh, hopefully put on a, put on a game for you know the crowd here. So um, you know, hopefully it's a it's a faster game than than the, than the last one. So you know, guys like myself, um, Benji, Sean, you know, Roger, all these players that come alive when you know uh, they get they get the ball in their hands. Is it just down to the ref whether it's faster, mate? Is it? Is there anything you can do to make it faster? Oh, I guess it's a bit of both. Um, but I guess you know, at the end of the day, the ref dictates how how fast the game is. So. Um, you know that's that's the way we play. We've got to listen to him. He's the he's the god out there. So um, you know, it's all I guess it's all up to him. I guess we can dictate terms a little bit with, with how we control the ruck and you know the speed of the game. But um, at the end of the day, he's got the whistle in his hand, and we've got to play to his whistle. In terms of the weapons this team's got, do you think you've got more points in you than you had last week? How many, how many points we scored last week? 18. 18, 12, 18. That's enough. Like 12. 12, 12, oh, 12. 12. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, um, like I said before, you know, I mentioned the names that. Uh, can come alive and hopefully um, you know we can turn one on uh, this weekend. How good would it be to finish with a win for a season for the Kiwis and everyone goes off into summer knowing that the season's gone great? Yeah I think it's uh, really important. Um, you always want to win your last game because when you go on holidays or when you go into you know, your off season um, that's the last one that's on your mind so um, definitely a, a really important game for us um, especially what we're building here you know um, I think the boys have talked about it, about putting this jersey in a better place. Um, it all started after the, the World Cup, you know, it was really disappointing. I don't really want to go back there, but, you know, everyone was disappointed. So uh, it's about, you know, what we do now and, and we're, you know, we're heading towards the future and into the 2020 World Cup, I believe, or 2021. 2021 I think it is. Thanks, all good. Everyone.